Hey guys and welcome to Words of Scale. So the number one question without any doubt that I get is my tools recommendation. And people tend to mention their give more context, they mention their expertise level, their budget limitations, if any. And it's not that I'm getting tired of answering these questions, it's just I decided that the better way of addressing that would be creating a useful resource. So when you go to my website, which is trickminot.ai, you now have this page, which is recommended tools. And here I'm describing in much detail the tools that I recommend. First and foremost, a little bit of a disclaimer. The below is highly subjective, yet I have personally used every one of the tools I recommend. So this is not and all be all. This is my subjective opinion only, and I'm biased, same as everybody else. And without further ado, let's just dive in into the recommendations. So the page is structured as follows. So you get your beginner, intermediate, and advanced level recommendations. For the beginner tool stack, I do understand that many of you are not making money, and it is important to pay as little as possible for as much of a return as possible. So this is split into categories. For the keyword research, I recommend using free options only. So do not pay for a keyword research tool if you are not making any money. In this regard, my favorite suggestion would be to use Google Keyword Planner. You can use the free version of Ahrefs, which is called Ahrefs Keyword Explorer. I highly recommend you use SEO Minion for parsing those people also ask questions. And this is all free of charge, and in my honest opinion, this will cover 99% of your beginner needs. Also, when you visit this page, you get a video or a textual review or tutorial, depending on what material I have ready for you. So for the keyword research, you can go to and watch my video about how to use ChatGPT as an alternative to Ahrefs, for example. Then, once we are done with the keyword research, we have our AI copywriting tools. And here, the first suggestion would be the free version of ChatGPT. You can use ChatGPT um, to create articles. I do not. I use it for research purposes, outlining, summarizing, and whatnot. But you can absolutely use ChatGPT to write high-ranking articles. So this is free with limited use. I suggest you use my prompts library to get the most out of ChatGPT. And here is again a video reference of how to approach writing a 5,000 word uh, blog post uh, with ChatGPT using one prompt only. Then the second suggestion would be perplexity.ai and its Chrome extension. So this allows you to get the fact check data for free. And you can also use Bing. So I should have actually added Bing uh, in here as well. And uh, Perplexity.ai and Bing are great with summaries. So they provide factual information since they fetch right from the internet, but they are not the best at copywriting. Then uh, for the Pew copywriting, you have uh, a few options. You have two LTDs that is still on AppSumo, War Hero, uh, which uh, allows you to get unlimited words, and Niches, which has and an incredible amount of different templates. And for the uh, measly, I think, $59, you get 1,000 articles per month that you can generate. And I have both reviewed them within the website and have uh, shot a video review also. For on-page SEO, I recommend Rank Math, and I wouldn't pay uh, for the paid version, so the free version is quite sufficient. Then for the LSI keywords, you, the, you have quite a few options actually, all of them are free. So you have Kazan SEO, which allows you to do many things. Um, it has an, a, an inbuilt AI detector, but it also helps you parse LSI keywords. You can choose to use the Ultimate Keyword Hunter, uh, and I have uh, reviewed it uh, in my, one of my videos regarding the my writing workflow. And you can use ChatGPT, and so the video called ChatGPT instead of Surfer SEO is your helpful guide. Interlinking, again, uh, do not overpay for interlinking. You can do it manually, and you can do it with the help of ChatGPT. And again, within my prompts library, I have the prompts that you can use. You can also refer to my video, which is ChatGPT better than Link Whisper. 
For the images, I would use free versions of Canva and Midjourney. For grammar and plagiarism, free version of Grammarly. And for AI detection, you have quite a few options. You have Continent Scale, you have Copy Leaks. Now, those are all good solutions. And I have actually reviewed all the existing AI detection tools here. So you can pick and choose, and most of them are free. What it comes down to, and these we have only uh, paid solutions or tools. So I would, uh, between the War Hero and Niches, I would go for Niches. I would invest in my prompts library because this is an ongoing project. So by paying five USD monthly, you actually get a robust prompts library that is updated regularly. So your upfront investment is $69 of which 59 is a one-time payment and five USD is re recurring. So I think this is as low as you can get basically. So you can start your blogging career uh, with 64 USD. Now to the intermediate stack, I would still use all the options from the beginner suggestions. So I would definitely use Ahrefs, the free version. I would still use Google uh, Keyword Planner. I would still use SEO Minion, but I would add Keyword Chef. Keyword Chef is an amazing uh, keyword research tool that allows you to find low competition long tail keywords that you can use to boost your rankings fast. And this is a credit-based system only, so you pay 29 USD for 5,000 words. And not 5,000 words, but 5,000 credits, uh, where one credit is one word. So this is a credit-based system. And I touch upon Keyword Chef in one of my uh, writing tutorials on uh, YouTube. So for the AI copywriting, I would go and invest in ChatGPT Pro. Now this is uh, well worth it and you can use it for many, many, many things. All of them are discussed and touched upon in my prompts library and I have shot numerous uh, video tutorials on that. Then for the um, article writers, you have Katap and Zimwriter. And this is a coin toss between the two. They are very similarly priced. With Katap, uh, there is currently a uh, lifetime deal on AppSumo. You can get Katap for 195 of 75,000 words. And Katab is great in that it is factual and in a few, uh, in a week, I think it's going to be first or second or the beginning of April, Katab is going to get a massive, massive update. So I don't want to spoil anything just yet, but that's going to well worth your money. And Zimwriter, I like Zimwriter a lot. Unfortunately, it's not factual, but for the 197, you get the lifetime deal and the articles, since you are using the open API tokens, are extremely cheap. So you can get like a 5,000 word article for 10 cents, for example. And I have reviewed both of the tools uh, in, again, in textual and video formats. For on-page SEO, I would still use Rank Math. For the LSI keywords, I would use NeuroWriter. I think NeuroWriter is a much better investment as opposed to Surfer SEO, it's much cheaper. And uh, NeuroWriter is coming on AppSumo very soon. So I would still, I would wait for that and purchase it there. And I have again, numerous uh, tutorials on NeuroWriter. For internal linking, I would, if you don't want to mess around with ChatGPT and prompts, I would invest in Link Whisper. For the images, again, um, no need to overpay, but at this stage, I would invest in Canva Pro. I would still use Midjourney for free, so Canva Pro is 119 USD per uh, year. For the grammar and plagiarism, I would go for Grammarly Pro, which is 12 USD monthly, or you can get it annually. And for the AI detection, I would actually get Originality.ai. And I think opinions differ, but I still think Originality AI is a pioneer, and so there are a lot of money going into that too. So it's staying up to date, and I have reviewed the two extensively. And uh, <laughs> uh, on trickme.ai, you can get a lot of information on how to avoid originality.ai. So I would go for Katap when it comes to AI copywriting tools. I would invest in Keyword Chef. Again, it's a coin toss between Zimwriter and Katap, but all in all, I would think uh, I would advise to go for Katap because of its factuality and because of the upcoming updates. 
Uh, link Whisper can be programmed for originality, so the uh, one-time uh, payment would be 771, and the recurring would be 74. And this is split between the ChatGPT Prompts Library, ChatGPT Pro, Neural Writer, unless you get it on AppSumo, and Grammarly Pro. So this comes down to 845. Sounds like a lot of money, but again, the majority of that you're spending one time or once a year. So recurring part only comes down to 74 bucks. To the advanced stack, for the keyword research, I would go for Ahrefs just because you can see the history of uh, the rankings and this comes in handy when you're buying expired domains. And Ahrefs is just a no doubt it's a uh, interested leader. But you don't have to. Again, you don't have to. But if you can, I would still, I would purchase Ahrefs. I would go for the standard plan here. I would still get ChatGPT Pro and for the copywriting solutions, it's a coin toss between Agility Writer and Jasper. I would suggest Jasper for those of you who like to write on their own, like manually, and need just a little bit of tweaking here and there. This is where Jasper comes in handy. And if you like more of a hands-off approach, uh, I would go for Agility Writer. And again, I have uh, reviewed both tools. For the on-page SEO, Rank Math 3, OSI keywords, I would go for Surfer SEO, and only because they have this insert terms uh, feature, which allows you to optimize uh, the whole article based on the suggested keywords, like in one click. Yes, it is expensive. And uh, if NeuroWriter introduces the same feature, I would be recommending NeuroWriter. But right now, Surfer SEO does it. NeuroWriter does not. Link Whisper for internal linking. Uh, images, I would consider buying MidJourney for 96 USD per year, so just to avoid the queue. Uh, grammar and plagiarism and AI detection stay the same. So my number one pick uh, as far as copywriting is AGI Writer. And here your budget is almost evenly split between the one-time and recurring. So the one-time would be Link Whisper once per year, Canva Pro once per year, Grammarly once per year. Originality, this is a credit-based system and 50 USD will last you a lot. And this comes down to 526 USD. And now to the recurring 12, 200 bucks for your traps, 5 USD for Promise Library, ChatGPT Pro is 20. Agility Writer is 88 for the uh, standard plan, so which um, this gives you 120 articles. Uh, 90 for Jasper, 239 for Surfer SEO, and again, uh, I do have both, but you might want to choose between one or another. And this comes down to 1167 USD. Again, you don't have to buy everything from here. Uh, you can combine, you can make a hybrid but I think this is a very valuable resource for you. If you have any questions, let me know. If you think I have neglected uh, some important tools that should be in here, let me know as well. Like, share, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.